Welcome back, first timers. We're getting ready to leave Costa Rica, sadly, but we're heading to Northern California for a wedding. We're going back to my hometown, which I haven't been to in so many years, so it's gonna feel like the first time I've ever been there. We're gonna show you the sights, the sounds, and everything Placerville, California has to offer. We got a long travel day ahead of us, so let's get to it. to Houston and through customs and surprisingly our United Club Pass has worked this time. So we're gonna stop in here, kind of freshen up, get a drink, have some snacks and check it out. But ultimately it's a big area where you can sit, rest, there's places to charge your devices, work centers, they have an open bar, they have limited alcohol spirits and beer that you get for free and then there's other ones that are more premium that you pay additional for. And there's also food, there's sandwiches, there's salads, there's hot meals, there's snacks and cakes, all kinds of things that you can get here. We only have about a 35 minute layover before we have to head to the gate so we're going to be quick, check it out and then we're going to head out of here and then get on our way to Northern California. Made it to Sacramento, we got to get a rental car and make a, about an hour, hour and a half drive to get to the Airbnb. So we're gonna try and make this snappy and then uh, we'll let you know when we arrive. Our flight got in pretty late, so we got what was left on the lot. So now we get to cruise into my hometown with the fanciest car I've ever been in. Thanks, Enterprise. <laughs> we'll pick you up. It might be midnight and we've been traveling for, I don't know, it feels like two days, but our first stop in California has to be in and out Burger. We got our cheeseburger and our double-double and we're gonna go eat in the car. I don't know the last time I had in and out Burger, but I mean, it's probably been, I don't know, at least five years. Pretty excited about this. So we're gonna find a nice place to park, crush these and continue the drive. We arrived to our Airbnb super late and I was gonna wait to give you a tour tomorrow, but this place is so awesome that I couldn't wait. As soon as you walk in the front door, you're just greeted with like the coolest, eclectic, retro feeling Airbnb that we've ever been in. They have anything you can want. They have a coffee press. There's dishes you can use. An amazing island right in the middle. The fridge and the stove are retro looking, but modern in their functionality. There's a really cool microwave that looks like it's from the 50s. There's a fireplace that you just hit a button and it turns right on. All the artwork and all the decorations are just perfect. There's a nice big living room, couches, there's mirrors everywhere to make the space seem so much bigger. But then the bathroom is amazing. There's a huge soaking tub. There's robes for his and hers. There's also a shower that you walk right into and the water drains down the slope, but there's four different areas to get water on. Two from the top, two from the sides all of the creams and salves and soaps smell really awesome. There's also bath salts, not those kind of bath salts, the kinds you can use when you take a bath. And then the bedroom has a huge king size bed. Again, really cool colors, wall decorations. There's a Polaroid camera and there's even a record player here. This place is awesome. I'm sure we're gonna find so many other hidden treats just waiting for us to find but we're really tired. So we're gonna get unpacked, get showered, get some rest, and then we'll show you outside the Airbnb tomorrow. Good morning, first timers. Welcome back. And we're still here in Placerville, California. But first I wanna tell you a little bit about where we're staying. So we're staying in the Harper Inn, which was an old three room motel with a separate cottage. We're staying in the cottage, the other three rooms are adjacent to one another. So the one that we're in is a freestanding building. Now this was purchased by the current Airbnb host in 2021 and they began to renovate everything because some of these were artist studios, tattoo parlors, different things over the years. Let me take you outside and show you some of the other things that are going on. We're right next to the 50 which is the main highway that goes from Sacramento all the way up to Lake Tahoe and couldn't hear the road at all. And then I found out that they have a charging station for electric vehicles. Anyway, let me show you the back area 
It's a cool little graveled and paved area. There's tables, there's chairs, there's a cute little tree with a, like a sitting area around it. There's a little fire table. They even got this game with big balls, little balls. I think it's called bocce. Never played it, but if we have some time, I think maybe we'll throw them balls around a little bit. Terry's getting ready. And then we're gonna head down to downtown Placerville to kind of walk around, look for a cool breakfast spot. But we also need to find maybe a long sleeve shawl or something for her. If you guys have been following along, you know we just got back from Costa Rica and we went on a crazy waterfall adventure and she almost drowned out of panic. Not because it wasn't safe. You got it. Let go of the rope! Let go of the rope! But during her panic, the rope got wrapped around her arms and she flailed and she has horrific bruises on both of her arms. We're back in my hometown for the first time in almost 10 years and she's a little self-conscious about showing up to the wedding looking pretty bad. So we're gonna see what we can find. Uh, if not, at least she has some more stories to tell at the wedding. We're in downtown Placerville, also known as Hangtown, in my hometown. It's a cute little town, a lot of shops, restaurants, place to get coffee. You can stroll the town. Now, parking's a little bit tight and the streets are a little bit narrow, but they have a huge parking structure and you get two hours free parking. After that, it's like a couple bucks. The historic downtown area starts at Main and Sacramento Street and goes on for about a mile down the road. All along the way, you'll see little shops, restaurants, bars, cute little boutiques. Right on Main Street is the Carey House. It's been around since the late 1800s and it's an operational hotel. I wanted to stay there this time, but since we were gonna be here for a few days, we just wanted a little extra space to kind of get comfortable. But it's known for being one of the most haunted places in California. There's some rooms that are specifically very haunted. If you want us to come back here, give me a reason to come home again and we'll stay at the Carey House. Right on Main Street is the historic hangman's tree. And now I know it causes a lot of controversy. It's been here ever since I grew up here. And even before then, this was the spot where they used to execute criminals. It does have a lot of historic significance and that's where the town gets its nickname Hangtown. I don't know if we're gonna have time to eat at the Enchanted Forest, but it looks really cool in there. And the smells that they're emanating are just wafting out in the streets. That is the most delicious smelling restaurant I've ever smelled. I don't, I think we gotta go back there at some point. They even have an old timey candy and toy store. Looks pretty cool. It opens in about 30 minutes though. It's a little bit early. Right in the middle of the historic downtown area is the historic bell tower. Now, when this thing is lit up for Christmas and the holidays, it's absolutely beautiful. It's so picturesque. And if it looks familiar, it's because it's a focal point for a lot of paintings that the famous artist Thomas Kincaid did. He's from here and he actually went to a high school that I went to also, but many years before. Anyway, this is the bell tower. Now we're standing out in front of Placerville Hardware, which is the oldest hardware store west of the Mississippi. I used to come here as a little kid and just wander for hours. My dad would take me here. We would always leave with some little doodad that we needed for the house, but this, this is a cool hardware store. They have everything you need and everything you don't need. There was a sign for no filming, so we didn't film in there, but take my word for it. David's right, there's so much in there. I could have easily spent $200 on it just random things. Before we do anything else, I need to get a cup of coffee. This is a cute little coffee shop right on Main Street. They got coffee, they got nice seating areas, uh, and they got some snacks. So I got a little, uh, they call it a breakfast mini pocket. It sounds like a breakfast burrito. It is as advertised. It's a mini breakfast pocket. It does look oh, so hot. I'm gonna let that cool off. This salsa that comes with this mini breakfast pocket is probably the best I've had. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's tangy, it's all the flavors you want. And it has like a nice smoke to it. I wanna put this on everything and I wanna buy a bucket of it. Come here, get some coffee, drink this salsa. If you're looking for vintage clothing or antiques, this is the perfect spot. Terry's looking for something to cover up her horrific bruise. I think she might've found something at this really cute spot called Blush Boutique. It just opened 19 days ago and we're at the very beginning of September. They have a lot of clothes for women. That's pretty much the clothes that they have. She found a really cool dress, but it was just a little bit too big. So she's gonna try this cover up thing. And uh, I'm gonna keep strolling while she's looking. Just coming up on my left is the courthouse. 
I'm with Rachel. She owns Blush Boutique and she's going to tell me all about the business. I opened last September and I wasn't in Placerville originally. I was just kind of waiting for a place on Main Street and I'm here. I've been here 19 days. I'm a transplant from San Diego. I brought a little bit of this style but I'm trying to fit in with my flashy mountain wear a little bit. I'm just trying to bring a little fun to Main Street over here. You can find me blushcalifornia.com and I'm just here to have a good time and shop. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm glad I found a little outfit for the wedding. Thank, Thank you. you. We're running super late because we still have to get to this wedding, but first we're going to check out Gold Bug Mine. Run. We are at the world famous Gold Bug Mine in Placerville. I lived here most of my life and I never came here, which is kind of tragic if you think about it. We know they have tours, they have things to see, some interactive activities, but we're going to go check it out and bring you along for it. One of the activities they have here is gold panning. You can pan for your own gold. It only costs you $5. So you walk right into the gift store, and from there you go up the stairs right to the gold bug mine itself. You get a mine tour. There's also a stamp shop and a blacksmith shop also up on the hill. We're going to try and hit them all before this wedding. Above the gift shop, they have a little museum that you can check out while you're waiting for your tour and then you go into the mine. We got fitted with our hard hats, not because anything's gonna fall on our head, but because it is a little bit low in some spots. We also have our interactive guide. You just press a button and it tells you about the mine. Nope. Oh. It is very cold in this mine. You can feel the cold air rushing out and it's a very hot day today. This mine goes back over 300 feet and it's 100 feet deep in the ground. Accessibility to the gold bug mine is really great. There's a ramp that'll take you right to the opening of the mine, but then the floor inside the mine itself is actually wood. So if you have mobility issues, it's, it's totally accessible. But the roof is a little bit low, so make sure you wear your hard hats. When you go into a mine, you go into the rock itself. It's an opening into a whole different world, and well, you can see for yourself. So let's start walking. That was such a cool tour. The interactive nature of it, you got a lot of information, but the tour's not over. We're going to head over to the blacksmith shop and the stamp shop. If you're not into tours and history, they also have a bunch of hiking trails out here and it is so quiet. David and I used to live out in the mountains for a little bit. I forgot how quiet it is out here. Included in your admission to the mine, you also get admission to the blacksmith shop and the stamp mill. Access to the blacksmith shop is up a pretty steep hill. It's dirt. So if mobility is an issue, this may be an issue. It's quite the hill. <laughs> So this shop is a working blacksmith shop. However, it's not Gold Rush era. It's a little bit more modern. It was to support a mine up on the hill from the, the early 1900s. So some of the equipment they have is a little bit more modern than Gold Rush era technology. Blacksmiths make their own, their own tools. So my hammer is homemade. My tongs are homemade. All these tools here are homemade. My stand's homemade. But the anvil came from Harbor Freight, just so you know. I got the heat I want. You get on two slides, create a little point on the end of this rod. Here's the point, and then back up, lower down, make it longer and skinnier. You gotta work fast until when the cover goes away, we gotta stop and reheat it. This is the ornamental nail. All right, so That's a heck of a nail. Let's go right. Take the take tongs away now. Oh. All right, good job. Perfect. Professional. Usually, I, I usually let the first get to do that. I've got a tool right here with my mallet. I'm gonna go ahead and start here. Ring finger right hand, hopefully. <laughs> if, it's too, if it's too small, I can make it bigger. Oh. Yeah, it's perfect. How do you two figure that out? I looked at your hand. <laughs> guess who might be getting married? Yeah, I guess we have to get married now. That was amazing. That was really, really cool. Steve, the blacksmith, super 
awesome guy. He lives out here locally. He's a blacksmith. His name is Steve. He loves YouTube. He's going to be a new subscriber. He whipped up a little prairie diamond. Just saw her finger, knew exactly the right size, knocked it out while he was talking to us, and then I got to put a ring on the finger. Who's getting married now? Let's go check out the stamp mill. This is called the Joshua Hendy Stamp Mill. This one was built in the year 1900. And this is its original location, so we're standing right where everything happened. Up above, past the blacksmith shop, there was another mine called the Silver Pine Mine. And out of there came out ore about the size of this rock here. Big one, it ran 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it just kept on making that noise. And the miners that worked on it, they were 12 hour shifts. And just after three weeks, they'd start to go deaf. And usually after the fourth week, they'd all be deaf. They tried putting beeswax in their ear, maybe a cigarette butt on top of that, but nothing really did the job. This feels like a trap. You're gonna have to go into the mystery mine to find out what she just saw. When you're in Placerville, come out to the gold bug mine, stop by the blacksmith shop and definitely go to the stamp mill. But we have a bunch of wedding stuff to take care of and um, yeah, got to do that. So we'll see you in a little bit. This right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end But we'll see it through exploring Apple Hill. Apple Hill's been around for 60 years. They're celebrating their 60th anniversary this year. They have all kinds of farms. They have over 50 farms out here. Apple orchards, pumpkin patches, Christmas tree farms, wineries, breweries. It's a hot spot for tourism. They have all kinds of food out here, sandwiches, pies, bakeries. Our first stop is Boa Vista. It's one of the more popular spots out here. It's open 363 days a year. They have all kinds of fruit, food let's go check it out this place is super busy but there's a lot of parking there's a lot of places to sit there's uh, some covered shade areas they have a huge fruit and vegetable market they have different jellies and jams that you can purchase but uh, there's also things you can do for kids like a little train ride they have a ton of different food options out here they've got tri-tip brisket sandwiches sausages even turkey legs can't come to california without getting a tri-tip sandwich I think we made a mistake with going with the tri-tip. We should have stick with the brisket. We only did a half brisket because we had just shared that other sandwich, but man, the brisket looks so much better. There's a bunch of sauce options. They pack this thing full of meat. Even their barbecue sauce is apple themed. There's apple chipotle and apple cinnamon. They both look really good and a little, a lot more complex than the ones that come with the tri-tip. Ooh, that's good. Spicy? That is spicy. It's good. It's thick. You definitely get the apple. The apple cinnamon's good too, but I really like that apple chipotle. Yeah, definitely apple -y. The apple chipotle is definitely better than the apple cinnamon. Get a whole sandwich and put that apple chipotle sauce on it. Mm, hot, hot. So it's smoked and then grilled. So it's tender, but crispy on the outside. It's smoky. Super smoky. Super tender. And I think the sauce will even kick it up another notch. This is really good. A lot of flavor in there. Mm-hmm. They're putting on it but would definitely recommend the brisket over the tri-tip it's about five dollars less mm -hmm. per sandwich there's about three times more meat and the flavor night and day we also got some apple cider so let's give it a try mm. 
It's real dry. It's not very sweet. Mm. Like it's sweet, but not overly sweet. Yeah. It's just <clears throat> apples. No preservatives. No added sugar. That, that's a really good apple cider and it's fresh. It comes right from here. We're gonna go explore a little bit more, see if we can get some apples and then maybe some pastries. To wash down the brisket sandwich. They have a pretty sweet sample section where they have pretty much all the fruits that they grow here and a lot of the fruits that they don't grow here all for free samples so you can try them before you buy them i went with the gala because that's kind of what they're known for here sweet crisp real fresh so they have a whole bunch of different baked good options there's cookies there's donuts there's pies there's cake we went with the classic apple donut it's an old-fashioned donut with a nice little glaze on it that brisket really filled this up. So we're going to try this and then I think we're going to head off to the next spot. It's real dense, fluffy, it's really good apple flavor, cinnamon, would recommend. It is like a light, delicate donut. It does have some density to it. The sugar is great. It's a nice sugar level. The apple's poking through. It's like a way less sweet apple fritter. Need a glass of milk you definitely need a glass of milk or apple cider our next stop of our apple hill tour is high hill ranch and this place is exactly that it's high on the hill it's a ranch and the parking is crazy here and by crazy i mean crazy awesome because when you pull in you don't park in a parking lot you park in the orchard they have apple beer wine cider champagne we had a little too much fun at the wedding last night so i think we're gonna skip that A lot of the farms out here are only open from beginning of September to the end of December. So now is the perfect time to come out here because they all just opened. This place is off the road a little bit, so it's kind of nestled in the trees and the orchards. It's a beautiful location. There's nice places to sit, paths to walk and wander. There's even a pond right in the middle of it where you can fish. They have fishing poles and bait here available for purchase and rent. We know there's fish in there. We just watch a kid catch a fish. So there's no catch and release. If you catch something here, you're taking it with you. But uh, they'll package it up, throw some ice in there, and you get to take a nice little trout home. Uh, I think I gained too much weight at the wedding. I, I don't think I can ride a pony. This is the quintessential fall activity. You have to come out here during the fall. There's no other place like it. And speaking of no place like it, I grew up here and I've never been here. I've never been to the gold bug mine. There's so many things here growing up that I just completely neglected to ever really enjoy. While I got to do it now, I encourage you guys, wherever you live, to make sure that you're enjoying the stuff in your own town, in your own neighborhood, because you might grow up, move on, and never have really experienced any of those amazing opportunities that you have in your own town. So I'm glad that we came back here. I know it was a short trip. I think we'll come back again in the near future. I'm not gonna wait 10 years this time. <laughs> if you like this video, check out this video right here where we were doing other really fun first time things. But thanks again for following along in this episode and join us next time when we try something else new for the first time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. First timers. High five.